Today I'm going to add a Logitech M705 mouse to a Windows 8.1 system on the left here. And it's pretty straightforward, but we're going to want to do some software tweaks, uh, particularly for full use of the scroll wheel with smooth scrolling. So let's get started. Packaging is fairly easy to open. We've got this finger tab at the upper left. Makes it a whole lot easier. And then we pull it out at the bottom. Let's get all that packaging out of the way. We have the mouse and the dongle. Those are only the two pieces that we really need. Okay, what else is noteworthy? Get rid of this plastic on the left. And looks like it's turned on already. I'll also point out that there's no batteries, however. So maybe I discarded that a little too fast. If you look inside the packaging, you'll see two alkaline batteries with a date of 2020. So this is picked up at Best Buy uh, yesterday, June 28th of 2014. So they're pretty fresh batteries. I've left the mouse the way they delivered it to me, turned on. Now let's see how the rest of this goes. I'm going to bring up Device Manager by hitting Windows key plus X and selecting Device Manager. Now, if we open up the mouse section and crank up the volume, as we insert the dongle, we should see some things happen. So let's give it a try. Here's the tiny dongle design. Here's an available USB port that I'm going to dedicate and leave for this. Probably a better choice than the USB 3.0 port that I really need on the left side for full speed. So I've chosen a USB 2.0 port where I could just permanently leave this attached. Let's watch device recognition do its thing here. Okay, you'll see at the bottom it's found something. If I click on that and bring it to the forefront, you'll see it says installing device. If we slide this over a little, get a better look at what's going on behind it. All right, so what we have is a HID-compliant mouse. In other words, a generic mouse driver. And let's get the uh, focus. There we go. So when we touch the mouse now, do we have motion? We do. So it's already working. Now, for, so for the very basic mouse functionality, we are already all set to go, right? And we can um, use the scroll wheel. By default, it's jumping three lines at a time. That's how Windows is set on this particular machine. So optionally, we can do the Logitech set point download to make things smoother for Chrome browsing, for instance. So I'll hit Control F and type set point. And I'm going to download the set point software for Windows 8.1. Or Windows 8. You'll notice it says Smart Installer. It's a small stub. Wait for it to finish. Launch it. Say yes. Welcome to set point. Let's minimize distractions. Click next. And 
and it's now pulling down from the web the rest of the set point driver suite. Okay, we can see it replaced the mouse driver with this Logitech driver. If we right click on that and say properties, details, or driver, excuse me, we can see the date and time. Next, smooth scrolling extension. So I'm going to click get the extension. It's already handled IE11, by the way. We're now just adding smooth scrolling to Chrome as well. And it's now added to Chrome. Do we have smooth scrolling working yet? No. But if we hit Control on our keyboard and hit the Refresh button up here, we forcibly refresh from the web. And I believe smooth scrolling might work. No, nope, not quite yet. So let's try that again. I'm going to close Chrome. I'm going to say Finish here. So by default, the side buttons work already in set point. Now it's time to tweak them. So I'm going to go to my own article here. And I set up Logitech set point the same way as I did on my machine. right here, mappings. So if we hit the Windows key and type in set point, mouse and keyboard settings comes up. Launch it, and now we can configure it. Uh, interesting, we end up with a separate or different picture here. Probably has to do with the history of which I ordered or um, installed mice on the left side here. But anyhow, here's our M705, 1,095 days that showed on both mice. So if your battery's strong enough, it's going to show you about three years of life. And now it's time for me to change the mappings. So for me, I do nothing on this middle one. I don't like accidentally middle pushes doing anything. Forward, back, um, let's change these. Item 6 is going to become back. Item 7 is going to become forward. And item 8, which is under the thumb here, is going to become zoom reset. Oops, sorry. Cancel. It's right here. Zoom reset. So now the left screen looks exactly like the right screen. So I'm going to hit apply. Pointer speed, you might want to adjust. I left these alone. Smooth scrolling, you'll see, is turned on by default. So that's good. That's about it. So we're done configuring this. And we can test it now a little more if we'd like. Close this. Let's try the mouse wheel. If we click this, click the button, we now get the ratcheting noise. Click the button below it and spin and glide smoothly. Where no one's going to hear you gliding if you're on the phone with somebody, say. 
So you may notice when scrolling through documents, uh, particularly through web pages, you may accidentally find your zoom changing on you. As if you hit the control key and spun your mouse wheel, but maybe you hadn't. Anyhow, to get around this, you can disable um, the ability to zoom with your mouse wheel. You can still zoom with you know, the menu in the upper right corner, for instance. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the way you do that is this thing called a utility called Auto Hotkey. So we're going to go ahead and download this. Now notice this little document that talks about it. It doesn't actually give you a download URL. So let's go ahead and get Auto Hotkey. And AutoHotkey.com is a rather easy to remember URL. Okay, so the download button is way in the top here. We'll go ahead and install that. Okay, auto hotkey is now installed. Next. Tells you to put this in your clipboard because we're going to need to cut and paste it. So right click copy. And after we launch auto hotkey, we're going to see an H. So let's go ahead and do that. Would I like to create this? Say yes. It's saying put this stuff in the notepad and close it. So I'm going to add the script at the bottom of the notepad. which I've now done. I'm going to say yes, save it. All right. Now next, we've got this uh, issue with getting it to auto start. Hit Windows plus R for the run dialog and paste in shell common startup. That's your startup folder. Now Let's look at auto hotkey again. So here's our auto hotkey icon, right? Is there much of anything you can do with it? No. So we do need to make a shortcut for it in the startup folder. So let's give that a shot. They tell us to find where it's installed, right click and send it to desktop. So let's go ahead and do that. Program files, auto hotkey, right click, create shortcut on the desktop. All right, we now successfully did that. We then want to drag it into the startup folder. If you're not an administrator, you need to elevate yourself to administrator, and now you've got auto hotkey auto starting with your computer. So that's it. We can also make sure that auto hotkey does not show interface in any way at any time, even if it has something to say. There can be a way to just get it hidden all the time and uh, invisible to the user. Okay, what was the point of all of what we just did? It was to disable zooming. So now I'm holding down the control wheel. Sorry, I'm holding down the control key in the keyboard and spinning the wheel and nothing's happening. Exactly as we had hoped. It just works. So our zoom will stay at 100%. We won't accidentally have scrolling through a document leading to inadvertent 
zoom level changes. Thank you for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.